Let's go to 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17. Pray without ceasing. We have to understand that prayer is a very powerful tool, extremely powerful. If you aren't praying, you are really missing out. And this may be the reason why you can't maintain your salvation. So let me give you my testimony. Back when I was in sin, or back in the past, I was very, very lustful, extremely lustful. Now that I am out of lust, I really have been getting attacked by lust demons so much. And you may ask, why are you getting attacked so much? Well, because I am not in lust. <laughs> okay. And back in the past, I did not really have too many lust dreams because you are going to find out that lust dreams is one of the ways that demons attack you. So when I was in sin, demons did not have to give me lust dreams because I wanted to be lustful. <laughs> Very simple. So now that I am out of lust, so many crazy things happen to me concerning lust. Does that make any sense? Many of the time, I get really surprised by my thoughts, or not my thoughts, but what demons place in my thoughts. And let me see. And the things that go on in my dreams. And many people may say to pray about it. <laughs> what do you think I have been doing? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> what I have seen the lust demon attacks in a certain way according to my life I don't know how lust demons attack you but according to my life lust demons attack in certain time periods so let's say that for two months I get attacked almost every day by a lust demon some days may be worse than others then for maybe a month I may have a time of rest where I am NOT getting attacked then after the rest period it goes right back again attack 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 and I don't know if I said this already, but the more that I elevate in God, the more that I get stronger in God, I see that the attacks get more potent, get a lot stronger, which is very, very crazy. And yesterday, you know, I had a lust dream then I woke up. Now, many people may say that dreams are just dreams. Honestly, I believe they are supernatural experiences. I really do because I believe many things that happen in our dreams, I believe they are actually happen in some type of way. I'm serious. I'm very very serious because there are times when I dream or have those supernatural experiences it takes me like 10 seconds to figure out that it was actually a dream or a supernatural experience I'm serious anyways I forget what I was talking about now <laughs> what was I talking about um, yeah, yesterday when I woke up, man, how can I say this? 
I could tell that the lust demon or demons, I don't know how to say it. It had like a very strong, not influence, but I don't know how to say it. Like it was really, really, really trying to influence me to want to have sex, to want to masturbate, to want to watch porn and stuff like that. I haven't had sex in many years. I haven't masturbated or anything like that in maybe two or more years. I haven't watched porn in two or more years. But like that day, those demons was pushing me very strongly in a very strong way to do those things. And I was trying to watch TV or something and I couldn't really watch TV. So what came to me, pray. So I got down on my knees and I prayed for about an hour. Then I did something. Then I went back and I prayed another hour again. So perhaps two hours. Let me say this. Once I prayed for those two hours, or however long it was, I did not feel those lustful feelings. Because that attack, when I was awake, very crazy feeling. I don't feel that too often. Usually I just get attacked in my dreams, or some dumb thoughts may come to my mind, then I have to bind and cast them out, bind and cast them out. But other than that, that is the way that it usually goes. But that day, it was really, really extreme. So I am here to tell you, if you are going through that, Get down on your knees and pray. Keep praying until those feelings leave. Um, this may sound weird or whatever else, but when I pray now, I don't know how to explain it, but when I pray for, I guess an hour or more, it seems like I go into like a trance or something like that where periods of time go by quickly at times really fast and I believe that you know I don't know why that is so I can't really say well I have been praying for a while now so you know there are times when I pray where it feels like I am in a different atmosphere. Do I pray as much as I did before? No, I don't. Before it was like an everyday thing for a certain time period. Now I do it every so often. So what I am trying to tell you, pray as much as you can because like I said, it is a very powerful tool. Very, very powerful. Because if you felt what I felt yesterday, <laughs> it was crazy. Really, really crazy. Wow. And like I said, some days are worse than others. And that day was one of the bad days. <laughs> Let me say this too. You may be going through the same thing. Actually, I know there are some people that are going through the same things because what we have to understand, when we go through problems, we aren't the only ones who are going through that type of problem. We can't be because the devil attacks us in similar ways. This is one of the reasons why 
it is good to testify about certain things that happen to you in your life. Of course, you can hold back if you want to, but you have to know that you can help others by telling them about what you go through. Because there are so many people who are in lust or who is out of lust and may be getting attacked the same way as me or worse. So the way that you get out of it is by prayer. So you don't have to go over a girl's house or a guy's house or you don't have to masturbate or watch porn. You don't have to do anything lustful. Pray. And God is going to take away those feelings of lust which is influenced by a demon or demons. I really hope that makes sense. I have no desire to be in lust. No desire. None. I don't entertain things of lust. I don't. I don't have lustful conversations. Demons don't care about that. They are going to they are going to attack anyways. They don't care. I really hope that makes sense. So pray, pray without ceasing. Don't ever stop. I need to pray more. Because I am telling you demons are going to attack as much as they can and as often as they can as well. So take this to heart. God bless.